see on the outside is that you're having an internal experience based on who you've been before. You have a whole world set up already, a whole perceptual base of reality. And so this experiment that my one of my old band members and I would do, like I was talking about, I'd always create teamwork, team, teams around me. Here was one in particular that loved this experiment and we would go anywhere and it would be completely dead. We would choose places so that I could be completely not around people. I always look for places that are not packed. I just don't want people around me. Yet I love people. It's the weirdest thing. Again, where does that come from? So we'd find the deadest places, and I'm sure you've done this experiment with me, and within 10 minutes, yes, I have. I've the seen place it. becomes absolutely full. And so we started playing a joke, and some of the places we said, within 10 minutes, your place is going to get really packed. We'll just start doing this and getting free desserts everywhere across New York and in Manhattan. And it, it worked. There were places I was getting free cocktails in certain places all the time because of this, or desserts, or, um, or like I would just walk in the door and they would just give it to me before it even happened. Within 10 minutes, voila. Now, how does that happen? Is it the energy? Is it the looks? Is no, it... I could go with nothing. I'm serious. Like I got a headscarf or a hat, and so it's not like I'm like looking for any kind of attention, you know. Um, it just happens. I've done it in both ways. If I'm done up, if I'm this, I will go into a place totally empty, and I'll sit in the very back. So it's not like they can see some person in there that you know they want to come bother. No, I swear it's the weirdest thing you've seen. You I've seen it work. And boom, ten minutes. Within 10 minutes, it's a draw. It's a magnetism, I was told. And it just so happens like that. Um, everywhere. We'll, we'll tape it sometime. Yes, we'll we get should. free cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> so, not to completely change the subject, but since we're up on Hollywood Boulevard, do you want to tell about your experience when you went to the Maryland movie in Hollywood? I'm forgetting Maryland. which one it was. Yeah. Which one was it? The one um, where you walked in, right as they said Marilyn. Oh, God. <laughs> was, that, was that at Groman's? Oh, God, no. Where was that oh, one? That's another day for a whole other topic, but <laughs> let me say. It just came to mind since we're up no, here. No, that's funny. That's in downtown. Oh, that was in downtown. Oh, we should go to those theaters one yes, day then. let's go to the theaters because let's have a day I on Broadway. have some stories. I have some stories about that. <laughs> it was funny. I went to the showing of Some Like It Hot. And let's just say the uncanny turn and timing of events. <laughs> and we can talk about that downtown. Yes, we'll talk about that downtown. I have a different outfit for that. <laughs> okay. Oh, excuse me. Yes. I forgot you have to coordinate. <laughs> of course. Different outfit, different vibe, different day. Um, we will cover so many things downtown because I think downtown was the original Hollywood. And I am so much about authenticity and capturing texture, and that's another thing I've found that I've always had, because in this life I've, I've striven so hard to claim myself as an artist, and so I shut off people trying to look at me sexually or, you know, which is hilarious, <laughs> because the more I've tried to get away from that, or not, apparently, because of who I'd always been, the more I've drawn it to me, and I just get more frustrated. I have to get so pissed. I have girlfriends who love the guys cat call, love them guys. I all, honestly have always gotten really, really, really pissed. I've noticed and that. Because, yes, I, I'm not doing that so much anymore. I'm just kind of letting that roll up. Again, finding what created that and dealing with it and seeing it as an issue or a block. Um, you know, opens up so many doors. So I think when you really get inside who you were and are, and parents, yes, the children of today are amazing. They can be zombies if you let them be, but they also have amazing abilities to be the superheroes in the video games and become things that are just amazing. So you need to know who they were, what they're telling you. So children of the future, hear me, it's very important. Listen and think about what you've always been drawn to that makes no sense to your reality that you've been brought into. Mm. Very good clue. So, you know, looking into things and seeing them artistically, seeing them um, very inwardly, having the reflection that I've always had, I've always tended to do things so drastic and almost rudely abrasive 
so that no <laughs> one could get inside that part. No one can get into the subtleties because they are so sensitive, they're so subtle. And I've created a nice working relationship with myself to protect that. And so I've cloaked myself in black for several years. I've taken time away from getting into the zones that I could have been in to develop these subtle textures, these artistic sparks. Um, and so yes, as you know, I've gotten always annoyed with the sexual antics toward me. It very much have been developing my artist and my individuality. And then when I found out that that's what I was doing then too, that's even weirder because apparently I was very much of an artist, very much of uh, an independent source in tune with my vessel and got annoyed with people throwing constant sexual energy at me more so even at the end I would just hated feeling like a thing, you know, like feeling like something, like a, like a piece of something. And I wanted people to recognize me as the artist, as the being, as the person who thinks and has ideas and creative energy and intelligence and the things that I've always had and people see me now as, I've created it for myself in this life. Um, so yeah, when the sexual things come up or people see me in a certain way or any of that, um, I deal with it better because I know why it was very begin with. And um, I don't have to look for that so much anymore. The, um, the annoyance and feel that annoyance repel me from so many things. I just, um, I found a lot more resonance with that balance of just, um, letting it be that way. Why should, there's so many people that would love to have that. You know, I, that's what my, many guys have told me, like, oh my gosh, so many women would just, to give a little, a little quarter to have somebody pay attention to that, and you just, so, all those things, I'm not talking about this to sound like a conceited, uh, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Because honestly, I don't associate with that. I really don't associate myself that way. I, no, you I don't come myself, off that way at all. Right. I see myself very much the way, I guess I've always been, very humble and very reachable that way, not approachable, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> not at all. Uh, but reachable. Uh, I'm very real with people. I'm very uh, understanding of people and their thoughts and respectful, and whether it's a child or an animal or anyone that stops to ask me something. I spend whatever time I can in that moment to give whatever I can. And apparently, uh, those are the things that never change. What makes you, you never change. The things you choose from life to life to guard you are the things you have to look beyond. The things that block you, you have to look into to see why. And sure enough, when you do, you're gonna find amazing results of who and what you have been up to before. And if you can tap back into that, you can do amazing things with it. So, try it out. <laughs> I did. <laughs> hey, like it or not, we are now. <laughs> Modern day. <laughs> Woo! Fun weekend. You feel the weekend? <laughs> Woo! End of the weekend. <laughs> Weekend's already been fun. Today is time to relax. Woo! <laughs>